Hey, good morning, guys. Well, we're just getting ready to leave here, and we're gonna go down to deer country, and I'm gonna bring you along to see how we go unfold a new purchase for 2019. So I got my little helpers in the back. That's how they get the experiences too. It's not every day you do something like this, but again, we're in the business of farming, and we got to continue to change with the growing demands. Hang on, hey guys. We're here in the deer country, and we just finished up paperwork signed, and we're ready to go. So we're gonna go out and look at it one more time. Um, but yeah, it takes a lot of planning to do this. This is not something you just want to jump into and and uh, come up with a plan. So the kids are happy. They got some hats, and I'll show you them here in a little. Well, we're just getting ready to go back here to the baler, and uh, this the, each of the kids want to show you their new hats. She got a pink one. He got a green one. How do you like it? Good. Everybody got new hats. He's happy. So this is a farming operation. We bring the whole family along. These are decisions that's going to affect these guys' generations to come. So everybody gets a little bit of something. So we're going to go back here to the baler again and uh, just go over it a little bit with the salesman. Uh, your guys' job is to guess what big horsepower is going to go in front of it. All right, guys. Well, we're still here at Deer Country. We're going to go over to the baler just one more time a little bit and then um, head on home. Uh, should be at the farm here this week. They're, they're going to fit it up with the right tractor. And, yes, we are getting into the tractor. So a lot of tractors here to pick from. Some need new tires on them. Uh, these were lease that came off and uh, a whole row of tractors here to go through. And he just didn't want me to pick up a red one because... Red and green, nobody wants Christmas colors. So they're going to work a heck of a deal on a new tractor. And uh, you guys get to guess what tractor is going to go on the front of that if you want. Have fun with it. That's all what it's about. And uh, we just uh, put a lot of thought into this program for us here on the farm. So let's go look at the baler again. They're going to sit down and uh, spend quite a bit of time. We're going to go through how the computers work, how everything works and uh, specs and stuff like that and I'll make a three or four minute clip videos for setting the computers up uh, everything as we go along this process so I hope you enjoy this series it's going to be a, quite a few videos in this series and um, and uh, the next job if you guys want to pick out the tractor it's going to go I don't know honestly at this point but there's going to be a big horsepower on it here on Tuesday and uh, um, we'll see Alright guys, I'm just standing in front of the new baler. It's going in the shop here shortly and they're going to go over it, check air pressure and uh, run some through the uh, acid and uh, fill full twine and have it ready to go out of the, the lot here. So I hope you enjoy this, like I said before. Uh, we'll go over a couple more things as we uh, time goes on. And um, the videos are going to be for me to go back and and look at setting up the monitor, changing the length of bale, and a lot of other things. So uh, this is a brand new unit, and it's uh, headed to the shop here next, and uh, hopefully it'll be on the farm Tuesday. So it's very exciting, but yet uh, it could be a little bit stressful. All right, we're still here at John Deere, and I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys are interested in the market of anything, uh, they have a lot of nice used equipment and new on the lot. So. They're located right off of 283 here, right outside of Harrisburg and Lancaster, right in between the middle. Check out their website, Deer Country, Farm and Lawn. When you do buy a piece of new equipment, it takes a lot of time to get over and learn it. Uh, each equipment is different, and uh, it just takes time and just to see how things work and set up and stuff like that. And they're here to do that. They're going to spend a lot of time with me and just going over it. So I can learn, and uh, we'll learn together and explain it. Um, you get to see it come along first, uh, bail it makes, um, and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, we can learn together. And uh, just going over this stuff and last eject, and they're gonna make sure that uh, pump and everything works on the acid. And he's gonna put a brand new fire hydrant on it, and it's gonna be uh, full of uh, twine. So, I do like the boxes, they don't lift up out of the way. Uh, a lot of clearance and stuff underneath here to work on it. So, 
it's it's not about what brand you buy it's about what you're gonna have for service and uh, it's just just so much things to talk about but I'm not gonna sit there and act like yeah I know anything about it because until you actually run it I did get to run the L331 and I spent a lot of time in that and made quite a few bales um, so you know I know a little bit but again I don't act like I know everything because I don't. So it's an exciting time, and uh, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know anything about it. And uh, just because you run it for a few hours doesn't make you a professional uh, judge on uh, a piece of equipment. So I have a lot to learn, and you guys get to come along. Have a great day. The next thing we're looking at is a wrapper. Uh, this is an inline wrapper by H&S. Uh, he's going to get us a price on that, but I would like the individual. I think they do better. But um, this one here is not too far out of price. But um, yeah. So if you guys have any suggestions on a wrapper or brands, and I know there's quite a few out across the country, across the pond. Uh, I looked at some of the videos on them, but it's one of the things we need now, and it's hard to. Uh, not have something on hand and start to wrap because we got a lot of hay to wrap and uh so any suggestions on that this is 1100 h&s line wrap does have a nice honda motor on it never ran one uh this new we had an older one we used but um go ahead and uh put in your uh, comments what you guys are using or what you guys seen out there on the market for a good wrapper uh, this would be okay if it's feeding on the farm but when you go to sell feed you got to cut each bale and and I've done it and uh, especially in winter it's okay but in the summertime you got to use it pretty fast to keep after it so all right guys have a great afternoon and uh, we'll keep uh, building the series up here and uh, and uh, show how things are done the way we do them here on the farm have a great all right guys well we're headed back to the farm exciting morning so um, three things I asked not to ask is how much I paid for it um, go ahead and call in the deer country um, they will put numbers together for you um, price is not everything and um, let's just go through this journey here for 2019 and see where we go and what uh, trials and things will happen so I'm excited so yet nervous at the same time and I said that before but here on the right they got some uh, triticale laying down and the crops are coming off quickly and um, they won't be long here in alfalfa and everything else so But, um, yeah, make sure, and another thing is just listen to the videos a little bit clearly and, and you know, what I say because um, I'm getting a lot of comments about right away, you know, about the channel here on uh, Battle of Wars, what it's about. I'm going to put a little bit of more description in that here shortly and read that. And what we're looking for is just to have fun. It's what we're fighting to get the job done. And that's what it's all about. What does it take to get the job done? And uh, it's not about mowing. It's not about raking. You all might see some of that video and some of the stuff ahead of the baler. Uh, it's about balers and the challenges that we go through as farmers together. So uh, I put a video up there and it's just like, this is a young guy who was going through a lot to get his hay made. And, uh, you know, he doesn't run a brand new baler he runs a baler that fits his operation and he was happy and i really did like the baler i mean it's just a, something you don't see every day it was a case 8585 and you know that was my first experience with a case 8585 and they're older models and so just try to pay attention a little bit more in what i say and uh there's going to be more detail as we put the video together for the movie series on 
at the middle of the August here, a little later. I'm not sure how things fall together and what we want you guys to judge as YouTube, which one put the most effort in uh, for the situation that he was going through in that clip. Once we vote for that person, then there will be a prize. And then I'll go more detail on that. Um, I'm farming and trying to do this too. And uh, I see a vision where I want to go with it. And, uh, you know, and, uh, I was happy the day I got to sit there and make a video of that tractor with the, the JBC uh, 2155 and that uh, case uh, 8585 uh, big baler. So small balers, round balers, um, whatever bailing system you have. It's all part of this, how we get things done. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. It looks like the weather is clearing out here, and we're going to go out and check some crops and uh, see where the, the stuff is and uh, when we'll start laying it down. So, All right, guys. Have a great afternoon.